Oh my god, I can't stop. Oh yeah, it's fall. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm fine, I promise. Just allergies. Whew. Okay, much better. <clears throat> Anyways, so are you excited for Halloween? Cause I am excited for Halloween. So this series, I'm gonna do some Halloween makeup tutorials. I'm gonna start with a really simple, easy skeleton look. You may have saw it on my Instagram and I'm gonna watch a scary movie while we do it. And that's gonna be our Halloween series. Um, we're gonna do Halloween makeup and a scary movie. So today we are gonna start with a movie I have never seen and that I'm sure probably every one of you watching this video has seen. I'm just really behind on the scary movie game. So today I'm gonna watch The Conjuring and everybody is always raving about it. So I'm gonna check it out and you guys can, I don't know, follow along. <laughs> you gonna watch me watch The Conjuring. It's like 10 o'clock at night. No one is here but me and Jacqueline. She's asleep. This should be fun. I'm gonna put it right here next to my mirror. Okay, so while that's starting, I'm gonna start off um, with a foundation. Okay, so I have a Wet Beauty blender and I am just gonna start um, a foundation with, I'm gonna use Makeup Forever Ultra HD in, I don't remember what shade this is, but it's like a really light one. I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna start out with that all over my face because uh, parts of us are gonna be a little bit darker than like the highlighted areas where we want it to be really white. And for that, I'm gonna use BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Concealer in white. It's just white um, and then yeah so I'm gonna start going into that and I'm gonna start in con the conjuring the conjuring not Annabelle we're watching the conjuring okay I am so confused right now. Okay. So we got that, but we want to be lighter. I'm gonna take more of that. I'm losing a lot of foundation here. Oh shit, bitch, one of you is possessed. I don't really need white around the eyes because we're gonna um, do a lot of black there, so I'm kind of waste my time putting the white around my eyes, I just realized, but do you, boo. Oh my god, I'm missing something. Since the 1960s, Ed and Lorraine Warren have been known as the world's most renowned paranormal investigators. Lorraine is a gifted clairvoyant, while Ed is the only non-ordained de demonologist. Well shit, I already knew that from the trailer! I am looking ghostly! Okay. Boom. Now that we looking mighty ghostly. Tan ass chest. 
I'm gonna make sure you really get like these areas highlighted with the white because you want your cheeks to pop. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm going to bring my eyebrow brush here with me. I don't feel like I'm going to get it, so we're going to wing it. I am using Benefits Brow Contour Pro. I love it. Your dog is telling you get the hell out, fool. Or y'all died. I think I got to the end of this already. OMG, I just ran out of the lighter shade. And I have not had that this long. Oh my gosh, I am disappointed. OMG benefit. That was very short lived. I'm not happy about the little amount of product that comes in this. I know you get like four different shades or whatever, but don't give me least of the two that I'm going to use the most. Now I got to do my other brow and not have the same color. Not the most even brows, but here you go. They're good. Whatever. Nice, big, thick, full brows for our skeleton look today. Also some dark ass brows. Alright, moving on, folks. I am going to set this white before it ends up with, like, black all over places that I don't want it. So we're going to set it, and it'll make blending everything into it a lot easier. Okay, so... We're gonna take some Naked Cosmetics setting powder and we're just gonna bake all over our face. Make sure you come down here and give this a real good because we're gonna blend some stuff into here and if you don't set this, it is not gonna blend right into these creams. Now that is a look. Son of a biscuit. You're my friend, right? Okay, um, I'm gonna go on with the eyes with the Smashbox Shape Masters. Oh no, hashtag Shape Matters. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna start with this middle, middle transition shade right here. And we're just gonna take that all over both lids. Self is already bad. Who moves into a house that looks like this? This only happens in horror movies, right? Like, people don't actually buy houses that look like this. I'm gonna take this blending brush and I'm gonna blend this out. I'm sorry, is that? I get you now. From this one? This color is gonna come all the way down. Ah, you took your blindfold off. I win. You were even warm, Mom. I was in Christine and Nancy's room. I gotta have some rounds on the insurance on the grid. 
I'm just gonna bring this down where you would normally contour to get rid of your bags, yeah. you won't cover that up with some color. I'll, uh, I'll take it. Thank you. You can kind of do this in whatever shape you want. Um, I preferably like to just kind of go down like in a triangle shape around the eyes. And that's why I blend it out. So like the center point of my eye is where like the point is, but it's not a hard point. Oh God, Nancy. Help her, Nancy. Nancy, don't. No, look. Don't be a badass, Nancy. Look, there's no one. It's standing right behind you. Oh my God, run, Nancy. <gasps> no, no, they talked to me. Nancy's possessed. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, next we're gonna go in with this darker brown here. We're gonna like slowly gradually build this. We don't want it to just be all like black. We want some dimension to it. So we're gonna go in with this narc, narc, narc. Yeah, you're a narc. I'm gonna go with this next brown color. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this like in the crease here and I am using the brush that came with this palette. It's actually a pretty good brush palette. Good job, Smashbox. Can we do it again? Okay, and then we're gonna blend that out right there. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing <clears throat> downward. We're gonna, cause we're gonna connect the two, you know. So don't do that one down as far as we did before. We're just gonna do it like right there. And we're gonna blend. Blend, blend, blend. We always blend. I'm gonna go in with the next darker one, which is this one here. And that is going to go on the upper edge of our lid. Who's ever down there to look you in now? Oh shit, no you ain't! They gonna lock you in, B. She tried though. She said, oh. Scary movies almost always make me laugh a lot more than they should. Like, I just make fun of the characters all the time. Am I be a bad person? That laugh is so creepy. Oh my god. Get out of that house. Gotta run. He gonna kill you. Okay, taking that same dark brown color, and again, we're gonna go just under the eye here. Don't go down too far. Did it possess their mom? Oh shit. An upside down cross started. What you kinda of wanna do is like follow your eye socket. Like you'll feel where you should put these colors. 
and follow your natural bone structure, which makes doing the skeleton kind of like really well, easy. But I've assisted on many. See, exorcism can be very dangerous, not only for the victim. Because we all have a skeleton in inside of us. You just what gotta find it. it. Well, he tried to kill his wife, but instead he shot her in the arm. I'm mad about the world himself. peace. Maurice had a very troubled life with little to live for, and not even an exorcist. Possession and possession, the infestation. That's, that's <laughs> the first one. Footsteps, Now we're gonna go in with some black. Ultimately grows into Just yeah, put that on stage. your lid. You don't need to put it all over, like up here or anything. You're just gonna put black right on your lid. And then you're know, just gonna it's blend that around the crease. Really and that's all. You don't wanna go up too far. You don't wanna drag it's it. Sort of you it's just it's wanna it's blend it so into the turns. crease. You have time. Won't you do anything you could do? We're gonna go in with just, just, just the littlest bit of black. So that's what our eyeshadow is going to look like. I'm using Tarte Sex Kitten Liner and I'm just going to go in on uh, my waterline on the top and the bottom. Okay, go away, but who are you? <clears throat> This is what happens when you do your makeup while you're watching the movie. Oh, you me too? My cat is scratching my couch behind me and it scared the shit out of me. Oh shit, she's about to pop off right now, huh? Oh god, Rory. Alright, I'm take this felt tip liner and I'm gonna line the, the top. What'd you get us into, Lorraine? Oh, what's up, boo boo? I look like you right now, girl. Just turn it. Now instead of this, oh god. Hair off is gonna stop a demon? Who the hell? Good to know. If you ever getting dragged by your hair by a demon, they won't come back if you just cut your hair off. Horror movie logic. <laughs> oh 
Oh no, it got hurt. It's gonna get hurt at her. Gonna drown. You gonna drown today? Oh, what the. We're gonna take a little bit of brown. We're gonna do some lines right here. Now these kind of look like flames. It's a little weird. I'm not happy with those. Okay, we're gonna go up Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go start shading in our hollow spots. And to do that, I'm gonna take. Son of a biscuit. We're going to use that base color that we use for our eyes and we're going to hollow out those hollow areas with a blending brush. Once you've carved that out, you can shape this in here. And now Netflix bitches, bitch ass decides it's going to buffer. Right when it's getting good. Are you kidding me right now, Netflix? Having trouble connecting to Netflix? I just got to the good part and now it doesn't want to play. Of course it won't let me finish the movie now. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Oh my gosh, it's not gonna play. I can't finish the movie. And I have like 10 minutes left. This is terrible. What the hell just happened? Everything is against me right now for this tutorial. I tried to film a nice fun tutorial for you guys and the world said no. My battery died. My phone will not play my Netflix now and I can't finish the movie and that was the whole point of this. And I messed up my eyeliner. Sounds like a Monday to me. Oh, it was Monday when I started this video. It's Tuesday now. This is the part where you really have to blend a lot. Because <clears throat> you really want this to be smooth. Okay, that part's done. I'm so sad that Netflix won't record right now. I don't know what's going on. Or record the Netflix won't play. I don't know what's happening. So we're just gonna move on. Um, I need to do my nose. And for that, I'm gonna use my Tarte Sex Kitten Liner. And what we're just gonna do is just follow the curves of the nose here. A quick little tree.
Whatever, it's not perfect, but it is what it is. You guys still love me, right? No? Great. We're gonna take this brush right here. No. We're gonna take this brush, this little flat brush, and we're gonna pack some black on it. Shake off the excess, and then we're gonna go. Just like that. Perfect. Oh, there we go. That's the too much. I'm gonna use this big fluffy thing here and just kind of smudge that out. No, I'm not. That thing sucks. My blending brush. Back to the blending. I want that nice sharp line, but also for that gradient to go down. <laughs> so the conjuring, <clears throat> how does it end? Y'all want to tell me below in the comments since Netflix won't let me finish watching it. Everybody dies, right? Or do they run off happily ever after? I mean, it's got to be that everybody dies, right? It has to be. We're going to take a little bit of that black on the blending brush and we're just going to blend it up this way. And then we're going to take another little dab of black and just go right in the middle of that hollow point right there. Like I said, I was going to do eyelashes, but it's not gonna happen tonight, so I'm gonna finish this look with some mascara. I am using Superhero by It Cosmetics, exclusive at Ulta. Okay, we're going to take an eyeliner. I think I'm gonna use my felt tip liner if I can get it to work right. It's on dried out. Okay. Okay, so your first tooth. Just like that. And then the second one is going to be a little bit shorter. Oh my, no idea what happened right now. I'm gonna smudge that out, act like that did not happen. I'm gonna make it part of the look. There we go, not that bad. Okay, give me that uh, blending brush and we're all good. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. The girl of your nightmares. All right, that's it. That's this look. Let's finish it up. My nose is running. <laughs> I feel like a, that turtle from Rocco's Modern Life. Filbert, yeah, I feel like that guy right now. I got this wig, because I thought it would be fun to try out. Well, I've had this wig. This was my Peggy Bundy wig. But since she's kind of like trashed and tattered, I thought she would be a good scary Halloween wig now. So let's see. I have a nice little wig cap here. It's all torn. <laughs> Quality.
Jacqueline would be so mad that I was doing this makeup without her. She's obsessed with Halloween right now. And I had to dress her up like a pumpkin today. It was pretty fun. Okay, here we go. Whatever you want to be today, you be it, girl. Your bangs is all messed up, bro. Shoo. Peggy is not a lace front. She is a classic costume wig. But we gonna make her cute, though. She just needs a, a bobby pin right here, which I happen to have here. Hey. This is, um, like, I don't know, Rose, if she had died on the Titanic, um, Ariel, if she had drowned when she got her legs instead of swimming to the shore because her little crab in her face, she swam her there. I don't know, a sexy redhead skeleton, because, so yeah, there it is. Fun little Halloween skeleton look for you. You know. I didn't get to finish The Conjuring. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll just mukbang and mukbang, whatever the hell it's called, and finish it later. I don't know. That sounds like fun. Get some Taco Bell. Watch a scary movie. So yeah. We got more Halloween stuff coming. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to wake.